you started. Huh? No. But it's the kind of hand of fate sometimes. You going to this thing her mom's having afterwards? I don't know. Might stop by when a relative's going home. Yeah. Look, look, look nothing, man. I'm guessing you're not sticking around for the shiva and shit. No. Her mom never took much of a liking to me anyway. Probably like you more than me. Can't guess why. This is the cheapest stuff you can get. Shivley's mix. I put away two pints one night with this stuff, and you and I know I never drink much. It wasn't with her, you know, I just... I just had one of those nights. Sweetness on a scale, I can't. Here's to it. Okay. Here's what it is. I almost killed you one night. And I need to air it out. When? It was maybe one or two after the second time with um, you and her. At least I figure on assumption it was the second. It was late, like two-ish. And I'd been at the cottage bar for a few hours. I didn't deal with memories exactly, just like these fucking, I don't know, these, these fast forward points of images. And none of it was really connected, but a lot of it seemed like Jamie to me. A lot of the glances she used, you know? So, shit-faced, I was outside your house. And when I kept making noise by your garbage cans, you come out with a flashlight scanning around. I had this. You have no idea what kind of force was ripping through here. God damn it all if it wasn't near the rage. I was opting for you, for her, and my mind. Then I noticed your feet. There's this pair of slippers that Jamie had since last year. You must have put them on them before thinking about it. And when I saw those, I just froze up, took a breath and held it in. I failed, man. I failed her and myself and I might have felt then I failed you. I realized I wasn't looking at some psycho or backstabber or some shit. I was looking at something I couldn't forgive myself for. I waited and you went back in. It's corny now, but I understand why the fuck you did it. Right then, you weren't worth it. Because you weren't, aren't, above me. And she was fucking worse. So I figured, hell, I'm moving on. This is stupid for both of us to have on our consciences. At least for me. I don't see why that's corny. Yeah. Want one? No, I'm by myself on this. You're not alone. Quid pro quo his knee. Huh? You never answered me that night. The first time you fucked her. How you feel about her? Felt about her? Look, I can't think straight about that right now. Would that have to do with the way she looks in there? Look, I think you know too in a way, maybe uh, in a parallel way. What does that mean? She loved this man. That's it. She was a loving sort of person. And I'll never guess if I was like how you took it and gave it. Look, look, she just had that effect on us. You know how it affected her mother. No argument there. Nick, I don't... If you ever have an emergency, just get in touch with the right people. But if you think we're on hanging out terms, you're really more of a douchebag than I can figure you. Yeah.